Hey guys, alright, so yesterday I was playing on Halo Infinite Flight Test Beta. Now, everybody knows that there's some things that you don't want in the game or that you want in the game. Well, I'm actually going to go review my previous video and actually talk about and probably kind of really go into depth about it of what I think should be necessary. I'm also going to show you some gameplay that I went through and let you guys kind of, you know, have fun with it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to just basically talk about the video. We're going to check out some stuff. We're going to edit it. Uh, uh, talk. Well, I'm going to edit it and then, you know, go from there. So whatever. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. But in the background, you're probably seeing like everything. So, yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to really go into all the depth of everything. So what, what what I'm trying to do is I'm eliminating some of the, you know, the areas. So right now, as you might have noticed, you're seeing literally a battle pass. Well, there's also an armor hall. Let's go back and actually talk about the armor hall. This is supposed to be where you could actually customize your spartan and do more but there's also battle pass stuff which i thought was kind of in kind of ingenious like everybody i mean every game nowadays has one that's kind of annoying you know and that's not fun so what i'm thinking is is if we actually turn around and actually have a good amount of you know, uh, customizations, we wouldn't actually have to do that. I personally think if it was my choice, and this is my review to Halo, is to actually have like what you did with Halo Reach. Like, for instance, you had to do certain leveling systems, not have it that way, even though the Battle Pass says it, and the challenges are great, but I think they should get rid of the Battle Pass, period. That kind of, you know, sucks. I don't like it i don't think it's a good idea i think they really don't need to do that weapon bench and body and ai all right so this is where you kind of go in and you could actually choose your own ai i loved a little the uh, c-i-r-c cricks I, I think his name is chris crit i don't know how to say his name i think he's cute i love him i think he's freaking hilarious i i thought he was awesome so we're going to go ahead and continue the video. I'm going to probably fast forward it a little bit, but to be honest with you, your AI, I hope they add more. All right, well, I'm going to kind of jump ahead. Sorry about the actual the road to 500 follows and all that and the viewer. Don't worry about it. This is what I was talking about. Okay. The map that you just saw was the only map that I only played on. Well, actually, I found out that you can play on more modes and different maps. Hopefully today they do more. I will be streaming usually every Tuesday to Saturday, 4 p.m. to or noon to 4 p.m. My bad. Other way around. All right. It's loading. It takes forever to load. <laughs> All right, so this is your starting. So this is actually kind of cool. I actually was going through, and I was just, all right, well, I'll just play, you know, no big deal. And I did did get some pretty good stuff. Like, I got the pistol. I, I got rid of, you know, this. I, I didn't get any kills. I don't, oh, I did. Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, detail on map. Let's rewind this a bit. Okay. Uh, well, there's your customizations. Uh, you can go ahead and go in. It's going to sit there and look at stuff. I died. <sighs> All right. So first, let's talk about the intro. This is what you get when you spawn in. But th remember, this is just the test flight. So this isn't actually the beta. Now, I don't really think they have anything other than this. I think they should add more different, you know, like, intro versions just standard ones that we can see i kind of dig the fact that they zoom in on you and then they they let you do your thing you know or whatever downside already 
MK, the pistol. Let's talk about the MK50 sidekick. Okay. This gun, it's seven shots. Seven shots to finish. Now, everybody will say, oh, that was, that's not true. Actually, it is. And in later video, you'll actually see that. You'll see me going through and actually showing you how many shots it actually does to kill one of the Spartans on this game. Now, the assault rifle. I mean, it's classic. Who doesn't love it, right? I mean, it's so cool. And the only thing I don't like, the amount of ammo. Uh-uh. Nope. In Halo, I think it was in Halo Master Chief Collection, Halo Combat Evolved, you actually had 52. I think think that's correct i have to go look again now i've in some games you actually have more in the assault rifle but that could be completely wrong unless they only added added bullets like 32 was a standard and then they added like up to 36 i could be completely wrong don't judge me on that the game the map itself right here so this is a choke point that i've noticed and i didn't really like it after playing it later on during the day where yellow guy is, I don't know his name, so I'm just going to call him yellow guy. The yellow guy right next to me, on my left, he's actually going to be starting to engage the enemy already. Because they spawn right there. They go for the in like stuff that's over there. I don't remember what's over there. So, But I'm going to go for the sniper. Now, as you might have noticed, the sniper has a little icon on it. And that icon is damage. So it's... AKA the damage boost from Halo 5. Same emblem, and it's kind of interesting. Downside already, I'm not too impressed on this layout of the map. This map is a trap. If it was me, I would put the actual sniper up on the top of the tower, which is in the back top right corner of this. And it's really good because I think that's a great idea. I would put something else in the middle maybe move the shotgun from downstairs which is the bulldog and by the way that shotgun sucks the bulldog upstairs into the middle and put the sniper if that's what you're going to put in up in the tower they also had a uh, what is it the, the rocket sniper that thing was intense uh, i didn't really care for all of the that type of gun that gun takes forever to reload and it's a draw, it's a line sight of shot. So uh, you have to have a sight shot. So you literally have to hit the target, or you miss, or you're dead, and you're dead. Sorry. All right. So going through here, the pistol I got rid of it quick. The detail of the scope. Okay, right here. Scope looks amazing. Now you can also see your friendly Spartan to your right. And it's pretty good. There is flak on the, on the uh, scope, which I thought was kind of interesting. I think it's a little too warped. It also shows your ammo. Now, I, in previous games, I don't think you had that. I think you just had your you know icon down below, which is three of four. And that was pretty cool. Well, the other thing is bullet drop. I found out about this later on in videos. It will show you. That was amazing. Pretty good play here. I helped my teammate pretty much push to get his area into the game, and I just basically just jumped around and helped the other guy. Now, I was looking around, trying to see what the heck is going on with this place. I went and just kind of jumped into this area. I was going to try to, you know, snipe that. This dude was glitched. And I kept missing. <laughs> All of my shots were missed. <laughs> like I said, this is actually some bullet drop. Now, this, this is dangerous. So, I'm already in a pretty tight spot. He's chasing me around the pillar. This is funny. And I just melee him, and he kills me. So, I got a little upset, as you might have noticed, for the action. So, it's no big deal. We're going to go ahead and skip forward. And I'm going to talk about the actual, like challenges these challenges i I've, I've noticed that are pretty cool so these challenges are different i'm going to kind of fast forward it a little bit more to kind of get to that point 
I'm talking about something that I don't even remember what I was talking about. So, I, I think I went into, I had to restart my game. Oh, and that's another thing. It kept saying that I wasn't authorized to play. So, that was something that was kind of annoying. So, I had to, like, literally quit out, go to Xbox, a different game, you know, stuff like that. But, I, and, you know, it was all over the place. And I was like, okay, well, no problem. I could just do something else. And going through this, it constantly did this. I'm not kidding. It literally took forever to get through this. So, and I couldn't figure out how to actually download the game. It took forever. So, yeah, all of my games. Hey, got a bunch of games. Yeah, I had to restart my stuff. gonna go ahead and go into the actual objective so this is like your battle pass screen this is interesting now as you might have noticed on the right it says daily challenges weekly challenges so this kind of you know went weird um <laughs> play any match it just said you know play any match and whatever it was glitched i played like so many matches it was never changed uh, the other thing was, is weekly. I haven't played today yet, so I'm actually, when making this video, I haven't played yet, so it's kind of just going around. But I do like how they have it laid out. It actually tells you, up on the top left corner, January to January, you know, it, it's just going, basically, it's, it's not going to be January. It never actually started in January, but that's okay. It's no big deal. I got my dog in the background. Alright, so this is where I went ahead and I just completed the challenges for the sniper. Now, in previous comments, there's bullet drop. This was awesome. I had so much fun on this. It was kind of difficult. I'm not going to lie for me. I'm not a sniper. I'm more of a run and gun type person. So, once you pick up this, the sniper, your, your timer starts. 3, 2, 1, and you go. So, obviously, as you might have seen by the bullet trace, there is a bullet drop. So, if you don't hit, you're you're losing it. So, let's see. And now, the reload takes a little bit slower. I've noticed that, too. And that was kind of annoying. And then, obviously, snapping was not a thing. You can't snap as properly anymore. And that kind of irritated me enough to where I was like, okay, well, this is just getting mental and i can't get through this so i completed the challenge with 1450 and i was like okay i got two oh, i got one star so that was okay i went and restarted it no big deal kind of just you know went whatever it's gonna do it again but yeah bullet drop was a thing but the thing that kind of really got me was this i'm gonna go ahead and re you know push it forward uh look at Look at the rocket launcher. That that was funny. Okay, so rocket launcher. Here we go. This one, it was kind of difficult to explain. This one actually... It, uh, it turned around and actually made you do a group step. So, like, you find a group of people. And boom, that all three. And then boom, got all both of them. Then it's the same concept. These are really... The velocity of this gun... This rocket launcher, again, is pretty good. And, and, you know, I didn't mind it. But, and then this part. And then the split, the, the, the pulse. <laughs> it's just so annoying. I have to say, to be honest with you, some of these weapons were just like, okay, what the heck. For instance, the Needler. The Needler is amazing. This is actually a pretty well put together gun. They fixed it to where when you play with the gun or have to reload you don't have to fully reload and takes as long the other thing that i was finding was when you had an empty complete clip there's no needles available you just pretty much you know you just went with it and that was annoying because i couldn't actually finish every single kill i found out that range on this was annoying uh, even in multiplayer, playing up against these bots, they pick it up, and that just got annoying. A little bit of range depth is an actual thing. And it kind of got annoying because 
I couldn't actually figure out the concept of don't fully empty the clip. Just go like halfway, you know, one kill, reload, one kill, reload. And it was faster that way. I found that out and I did a three stars. The, oh God, here we go. The heat wave. This one actually was a pretty good gun. It has, I think this is the one with ricochet rounds. So that actually was kind of cool. We're going to go ahead, go ahead and load in. We picked it up and we got started. Well, if you might have noticed already, there's a, there's a whole different like, like system. You can zoom in by hitting your left trigger or zoom out and it'll actually do a spread. And I thought that was kind of cool, but look at the reload. It, for a full magazine is so long that it was kind of like, okay, well, that's no big deal. I can just work on something else. And what I did is I just went one, two, three, four, and then I just let it reload. I, I actually showed how long it takes to reload a full magazine. And that just, no, that wasn't going for me. I don't like it. I even said it, like, I mean, I'm reacting to it. It took forever to reload. It took so long. I went and I just did the bulldog. I was like, all right, let's try the shotgun. And this is what I'm talking about. The shotgun, in any other Halo, it's pretty much a two-tap shotgun. Anything. A two-tap or a one-tap shot. Two, three. One, two. One. Reload. One. <laughs> one, two. One, two, three. <laughs> You know, and it's based off of range. This got annoying in the third and second challenge. Because in the third and second challenge, they're patrol units. Then the other, the third challenge, sorry, the second challenge is patrolling. The third challenge is... <laughs> the third challenge is they're facing you. So it's like they're, they're, they're aware of your presence and they're going to move around more. And it's just annoying. The plasma pistol, I didn't like it at all. It was a challenge. I did get it done. Uh, what had happened was is you have to charge it up, then basically act as if you're a pistol, and then constantly go. You charge it up, boom, break the shields, and then just light them up. No problem. But it takes so long to recharge to just shoot. So basically everything is headshots, and you guarantee getting the kill. That was annoying. And it's the same concept as, you know, the other two... And it was just annoying. Same with this one. So well, this is your standard assault rifle. Everybody starts with this. No problem. It just took so long to get kills. And you literally had to figure it out. I mean, I like it. It was great. You know, I pulled it off. The pulse carbine was amazing. I went ahead and I just went through everything. I tried doing, you know, the sniper challenges again. I went for the number one again. Trying to get, you know, better scores. It was good. Overall, the game is awesome. I'm going to say that right now. The game is great, and I thought it was amazing. So, with this being said... The game alone is well put together. But, there are things that I think that they need to put in that is actually going to be a better for this game like they need to change some of the areas that they're putting the weapons especially on some of the maps the power-ups uh hello on turbine or whatever you call it the one with the the gravity hammer that's in the beta i'll be streaming again today that one blue team or the bots they instantly spawn right there like it's pretty much right there so they're running already to it and we have to run a full corner and out and over a hill or whatever ledge and then you can get to it but you're already pretty much screwed because they already own os so that's that's something i was thinking too is delay re delay spawns so like for instance you could put it out be like here it is this is what you got but for that specific t sorry type of map that's something that i definitely think should happen is you don't need you know, you don't need to have that, like, right there. I think there should be something else there or move it somewhere else. 
and or move the red spawns and blue spawns move them to where they can actually kind of function properly and everybody has a fair advantage that's just me i think it's a good idea and i think it was a a really really smart idea to do that i don't i don't know i mean to be honest with you the game alone was was good uh, it was well put together um I mean, I don't know. I mean, to be honest, it it could have been better. I think it could have been a lot easier for newer people to come in. I mean, don't get me wrong. You had bots to fight, and it was still pretty awesome. So, you know, I don't know. I think that's a great idea. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this actually helps you play more on Halo, period. See you guys next time, and I hope you enjoyed this.